Thank you, thank you everyone, thank you for having me. I think uh, a lot of power pack discussion happened uh, in the last panel. You might find a lot of commonalities and a lot of questions getting answered, but uh, definitely a uh, worth a wait. I'll not take more than 10 minutes. I know it's just lunch and we all are hungry. Uh, what, we do as an, uh, what we do as an OEM is a very interesting fact. Uh, Samsung today is world's largest technology company. Uh, what we bring together is basically the culmination of hardware, software and advertising and this is this is what is a main uh, play of what we bring to the table as an OEM where these are very varied set of experiences but on a single screen. I think a lot of our panelists refer to uh, measurement, data, viewability, a lot of these things put together when an OEM comes to the market with such level of insights and uh, with our television getting smarter, things unlock in a very pretty different way. So if you, if you look at us, we are today the number one technology company globally. We do a lot of uh, full stack technology development. So we are one of the biggest players when it comes to the smart TV manufacturing globally. This is the 17th year that Samsung today is leading the play. Uh, we are the number one uh, smart TV operating system in the US, uh, which is Tizen, which is our own operating system. And these are powering all our TVs that we manufacture today in the market. What we are today in India currently, we are an ecosystem of 6.5 million smart televisions available for advertising today. And this is an ecosystem which is today catching up very fast. So uh, one, of the, one of the fastest growing markets of smart TV is India within the APAC region and we are leading that charge. So this is an opportunity which we've unlocked a couple of years back and we have seen tremendous use cases of our advertisers today unlocking when it comes to the connected TV advertising experiences. So, well, Siddharth just mentioned it very briefly, but let me just touch upon this. So Samsung today is world's largest ACR uh, powering data set. So this is our entire first party data is powered by this technology called ACR. This is nothing but automated content recognition. This is the most deterministic signal on viewership data that anybody can provide. So what we today uh, bring to the table is completely new level of uh, viewership measurement, the insights and analysis through ACR and we are the biggest players of ACR in the world today. Um, so let me just bring you through certain numbers that we have available in the market. So the smart TV viewership in India is today growing at a rate of more than 100%. In India, Samsung ads today or Samsung smart TVs today carry more than 100 plus television channels. You guys might have looked at us. We just launched uh, the entire ABP group, the Z group on our uh, platform which is the Samsung TV Plus. So anyone of who has Samsung uh, TVs in your household, you get a free service that Samsung today promotes uh, which is called Samsung TV Plus. This is the largest fast uh, free ad supported streaming television uh, service globally. So in India, we started with a bunch of 40 channels a couple of years back. Today we are at 100 plus channels and this is growing to go at a phenomenal pace. So Samsung TV today is powering one of the biggest fast services globally which is called a Samsung TV Plus. What we are today also is that, see everybody is uh, today looking at what the viewer, viewer watching but whatever, view, whatever is being watched is, watch, uh, is being watched on a screen and nobody better than an OEM can bring into those life, uh, bring to life those uh, viewership insights that are there in the market and the number one trend that we are today seeing in the market and this been over the past two, three years and we saw uh, trend shifting is that viewership today has shifted from linear to streaming and streaming has become like a new normal in some shape or the form we consume streaming content uh, knowingly and unknowingly but streaming is today here to be a new normal and we have seen TV audience shift this is the number one trend uh, that we are today seeing in the market where data is indicating that streaming is the new normal. Let me just give you certain insights so, uh, these are the insights from today uh, what we see on our televisions 11% of the viewers are exclusively linear or cable TV viewers. Rest of the janta has moved to streaming. So 89% of the viewers today have moved to streaming and out of that also when we look at um, I think um, Nikhil or somebody referred on the panel saying that uh, SWORD and FAST have uh, SWORD and uh, AWORD have certain uh, thing numbers and everything which is we're not very skewed up but we can tell you today 62% of our viewers out of the entire universe that we have is on AWARD and FAST which is a phenomenal growth that is AWARD is seeing and this is happening globally. AWARD is today the fastest growing channel globally and uh, SWARD is currently somewhere around at 30%. So when we look at from an overall streaming narrative, uh, AWARD and FAST are today the fastest growing uh, phenomenon that is happening in um, smart TV viewership. 
what we also today have is that uh, within the free free streaming community is growing at a very phenomenal pace so if you look at purely from a december 22 to a march uh, if we do a quarter on quarter jump uh, 13% has been the growth of award and fast which is the uh, which is the out which is outpacing and matching the global numbers and award is currently growing at 6 to 7% followed by linear which is currently at 6% so when we today look at free streaming is becoming like a new normal and data Definitely, and this is all data or viewership data that Samsung sees and how we are today looking at uh, is that streaming is today going to be mainstream. The second biggest, uh, the second biggest thing is that, that there is a big shift that is happening on the screen and the viewership and it's time that we today embrace the change that is happening and uh, the change is definitely there. So, uh, a lot of, a lot of habits that we had over the years of TV viewership, those habits are today growing. So today when you look at the TV has become like a unifier, uh, the screen is just becoming like a unifier of any medium of content that you want to watch which is either an OTT content or a cable content or a live stream content through an app. So this is TV today is basically becoming like a unifier of content which is stream, which can be uh, streamed from any sort of a medium. It can be an internet, it can be a cord, it can be any dongle or a device or it can be a set top box. So it's the role of the TV is set to change. TV is no longer going to be like a wired uh, device which is just powering a single uh, journey. So that is not going to be the case. So if we, if we look at purely from a smart uh, smart tv adoption these are numbers put out so we are currently looking looking at a overall from an india perspective ctv or a smart tv penetration has a lot of room to grow currently we stand at somewhere around 6% of the households today are either touched or penetrated by ctv but we see this number growing at a very phenomenal pace from the sales of smart televisions that we are having 36, 36 million is the current uh, user base reach that the smart TVs are uh, today influencing or the, uh, the CTVs are today currently touching upon but we, we are expecting this number to grow exponentially within the next two years. 60% of the users who today use, uh, who connect to the uh, smart TV use either a mobile hotspot or possibly a dongle and this is the phenomenon that we are seeing where uh, the entire ecosystem that is today developing for example there are certain devices which are getting announced which are like mobile uh, air, uh, airport sort of stuff which you can go and carry and just place it in any household and it goes it is it is internet ready so the readiness of the infrastructure and the availability of smart tv in your household is definitely going to drive the ctv adoption and we are absolutely confident and we have seen this happening because once you have a smart device in the household, you definitely want to use of it. So there are two, three devices together, activate the entire system and this is going to power the entire growth going forward. 5G is going to play a big catalyst because if we today have to go uh, non-corded, you need to have a technology which can stream unbuffered. So 5G and the forecoming technologies are going to definitely see smart TV adoptions and connected TV growth uh, going forward. And last but not the least, uh, with the co-viewing which Siddharth touched upon, so when we today look at uh, as per our um, co-viewership numbers, 3.5 users per household and this is ultimately a family of four which is today getting touched by uh, the viewership getting touched by a CTV. So definitely when we look at uh, in the next five years, this number is set to grow phenomenally higher. So when we look at from an overall adoption perspective, the trend of streaming, the adoption of smart TV, this is going to go uh, to a level where the ecosystem is itself is going to see, see a very big shift. Now this is going to be the battle of interfaces. So when we purely look at uh, what we are today seeing in the market, 73% of the native smart TV, uh, these are 73% uh, of the devices run on native smart TV OS versus the dongle. So when once you go smart TV, you possibly uh, become less reliant on any external hardware to power your use case. So this is predominantly going to be the war of operating systems going forward. So uh, this is with TV going smart, you no longer need a dependent device. And 79% of these smart TV homes are aided with discovery and recommendation. So the generally when we look at from a, uh, once you get a TV in your household, your the entire recommendation engine based on your content viewership is going to play a big role in what next content are you going to watch. So definitely with TVs getting smarter, the influencing on content consumption is also going to change. So definitely this is going to be how we are going to see a big shift when it comes to viewership and content consumption. As a TV, I think as all a lot of uh, we have uh, been marketeers throughout our journey and we have traditionally worked with a lot of uh, native formats on digital and on uh, uh, on the more of our mobile formats. But TV definitely is going to have a 
uh, more advanced format of engagements though there will no longer be those uh, expandables and everything but TV itself is going to be like a big screen itself where you can paint your ad with a native canvas and these are going to be high impact formats as well as video format so Samsung today powers these two in the market so once you open up a television you are natively served an ad which you won't even recognize as an ad we have seen CTRs phenomenal CTRs uh, we've ran a lot of campaigns for our customers and these are native ad experiences without any ad intrusions or not getting into the user experience per se uh, and we also have a live television in stream video experience which we are today powering through Samsung TV plus so these are these are formats which are beyond the standard digital formats that we have been all aware as marketeers but these are very exciting formats for advertisers to tap onto and increase their ad uh, user engagement. So content is the king and data is the new kingdom and we are, we, we are powering this data at Samsung and definitely when we look at the type of data sets that are available today and what what we are as an OEM going to unlock in the market it is definitely going to be like a new level of engagement that users or advertisers are looking how they can tap further into the ecosystem so just to give you a gist of it what we see and what we saw uh, purely from this uh, intelligence of screen that we have 25% of the Indian households uh, got an exposure to Big Boss 1.2 million of the Samsung households had an exposure to the ICC World Cup and there are 2.7 billion app launches on the Samsung smart television so when you look at from a from a user use case perspective a, de a TV decades ago wouldn't have even given you this insights but today as an OEM and having given you the full experience of the hardware software and advertising we can bring such use cases and insights to light which can definitely elevate the use cases that as an advertiser we are looking to uh, bring to our and connect to our consumers with. So real time data, real time advertising and real time analysis so this is what we bring to the table in terms of the overall new advertising experience as an OEM. Smart ads are powered by smart data and this is the type of data that we as an OEM today can build for you courtesy ACR. So what we see on the hardware, what we see which is being streamed and what we see as connected devices together come and unlock a completely new data set. So we today exactly can, we can determine what sort of connected hardware is being interacting with the TV. So it can be a gaming console, it can be a set top box, it can be a dongle. We can also basically bring insights into what sort of viewership data was being viewed, what sort of content was being watched and what, what sort of ad was being exposed to. So these are certainly use cases uh, and deterministic signals that any advertiser would today want to basically bring to the market or possibly make the part of their media plans which can ultimately less pillage, can do a more addressable television advertising and can which is powered by the intelligence of data. So this is this is one of the use cases that we possibly are today taking to the market is that this can be a true TV plus digital narrative where you can measure what campaign that your linear ads delivered, tap into the unexposed people uh, who possibly are cord cutters who never saw your ad on linear TV but capture them uh, when they are engaging with any smart TV service and then deliver and measure incremental reach. So this is going to be a true unifier of a single screen uh, where uh, an ad exposure which was on digi uh, was on linear which could not reach to a user but today on the same screen through a S word or a fast service or a, uh, a word or a fast service you can deliver an incremental reach. So a very power use case uh, where advertisers today can do a TV plus digital incremental reach and measure uh, what was being watched and what, when, how their ads performed. So this is what a use case that we have already built this for, was for one of the auto brands. So we in totality reached 880 K households which was a unique incremental reach from the linear ads which could not touch those households. So when we look at a pure cord cutting community and uh, people who are not exposed to any linear ads this is how an incremental reach where a true TV plus digital or a true TV plus connected TV campaign can get you to the table. So this is what we drive as an incremental reach when it comes to a pure CTV advertising play. One of the use cases and uh, there was a small uh, there was a small thing that was touched upon by uh, one of my colleagues from Greenply uh, that um, how can there be a use case which powers uh, viewing and a retargeting of a user. So we did this retargeting campaign for one of our brands where we reached out to the users who were who visited their website on a CTV environment by collecting those audiences in real time and reaching them out on a television medium. So this is where true TV plus 
digital to television, uh, digital to CTV campaign can power your intelligence just by reaching out to those targeted audiences who are truly engaging with your brand. So these are use cases which can be powered by any sort of uh, digital to TV use case which haven't been as of now heard in the market. And last but not the least, what we saw with one of the uh, beauty brands, CTV today was successfully able to create an uplift of 11% when it came to the purchase intent. So this reaffirms the fact that TV today is here to is here and is going to thrive in the future. And CTV is just going to be like a booster shot when it comes to TV getting much more smarter so, and TV getting much more uh, brighter. So streaming is a new standard. We are all here in the era of streaming and more the data consumption that happens and more powerful the use case of uh, data usage goes with 5G and 6G. Streaming is definitely going to see its uh, wings uh, fly much higher. The role of TV has evolved. So TV is no longer those uh, seven rainbow bands. Once you plug out the cord, TV is much more than that. So no longer cord remains your primary sort of content consumption. Streaming is definitely powering that and the role of TV is much more beyond a single screen dialogue, uh, it's a single way dialogue but it's you can interact with your TV and uh, unlock multiple use cases. It's going to be like a digital fireplace of your home within the next five years where TV will have a center role to play and it will reinvent itself. And last but not the least, as advertisers and marketeers, I think we today need data and data will redefine our strategies and definitely TV campaigns going forward uh, will be much more data driven and TV will be much more addressable going forward with the likes of audiences and insights that we are going to present as an OEM to our advertising community. I think thank you. That is, that is for us.